Hello friends, my dear sister is learner, sister lovers. I hope you all are fine and enjoying sister learning. First of all, uh, wish you all a very, very happy new year. And uh, in this new year, uh, I am trying to make a video uh, related to one sister utility. And that is uh, COOP, C double O P COOP, E R C O H P, O H P. So if you want to go in details of the chemical properties of material, then you need uh, to study the characteristics of bonds, different bonds, a connection between two atoms. And uh, for bonding characteristics, uh, you need to study this group. So in this uh, lecture, uh, I will uh, consider group to group analysis as well as uh, as a PDOS utility. Uh, so in the previous lectures, uh, in previous videos, uh, I have mentioned how uh, you can plot, you can get that uh, projected density of state PDOS by using PDOS XML or uh, uh, that FMP DOS, uh, that inbuilt utility given in sister web is. Uh, but uh, there is one um, just a um, good tool that is the coop one uh, so this uh, by using this coop utility you can uh, also get that projected density of states in the plant and this method is uh, relatively easy and the direct method to get that feeders so i will also include in this so without wasting uh, time i should uh, share my screen and uh, uh, start that coop utility uh, that sister utility. So as uh, I have mentioned earlier, sister is well documented. So you can get uh, many information related to Coop starting from uh, its manual and uh, some tutorials are all there. But here, uh, the hands-on tutorial I will include here. So uh, let me share my screen now. So how to start uh, so from where you have to start uh, uh, that cube uh, utility to use uh, so first of all you should uh, google it uh, what is that cube uh, utility uh, analyze uh, using sister so this is inbuilt tool in the sister and there are some examples are uh, here so let me open this uh, files. So I have also one uh, tutorial in my website. Uh, this is Coop Utility, how to use by Anil Verma. And uh, there is uh, uh, some inbuilt tool. So this is uh, an example, some, some Python based in tutorial there. And uh, you can go through this. And uh, also my tutorial, this is Coop Utility. And uh, this was uh, designed in the year 2014, okay. So, so this utility, this Coop utility is available in Sista in Util directory. And uh, for this, uh, you have to first uh, compile this Coop, uh, that, uh, that binary file is mprop. And in FDF file, as uh, just uh, similar to other uh, tools, you have to add one line that is uh, Coop write true in the FDF file. And then after running, uh, that uh, sister, uh, you will get additional files that is uh, with the extension of this HSX. This is related to Hamiltonian and the second file that is related to the wave function. And uh, uh, you have to use these two files along with the input file. And uh, you you have to prepare input file in the text as in form of text file uh, that is uh, uh, here in with this extension coo.mpr for coop and uh, for PDOS, as I have mentioned, one can use this for PDOS also. So you must have that PDOS uh, uh, .mpr as input file. So in the input file, what uh, we have to do, just uh, we have to mention uh, that system name and this name which uh, we use in our FDF file. And uh, then uh, if you want to use COOP, then here you have to mention COOP with capital letters. and uh, now the next thing is uh, that uh, 
name up uh, the bonds under a study so here if you want to find that uh, the characteristics of tio bond so you have to mention this tio uh, bond so this is that uh, tio and then the ti and this o in between we have to give that uh, uh, bond length range in between so this bond length range can be obtained from uh, uh, final bond uh, file in uh, that uh, optim optimized uh, folder and uh, along with uh, uh, this uh, pure TIO bond, you can get uh, the interaction between orbitals and suborbitals also. For example, uh, this uh, TI, uh, you can get that uh, electronic configuration of this TI and this O, and uh, you can check the interaction between this TI 3D and O2S orbitals uh, by using this TI orbital. And uh, again, this you have to mention this TI 3D here with this uh, bond gap, that uh, range, and then O2S, and similarly, for other, if you want to have that to get that interaction between TI3D and uh, O2P, then this you have to write this TI3D and O2P with the, the same bond length, and you can change uh, that bond range also. And uh, you have to use then uh, this command uh, to run uh, COPE utility. And for PDOS, you have to mention the same system name, and then in you have to write DOS here, not PDOS, DOS here, and then the name of uh, file name here if you want to get that uh, ti or then then this is just a ti for ti 3d you have to mention this ti 3d and so on so in uh, um, and, uh, during practice uh, uh, we will see uh, the detail how to get and uh, some details are also here this is one good tutorial given in uh, available in google so you can go through this how what is this density of state projected density of states and other things and uh, the wave function and this is uh, uh, the term uh, this is for pdas mpr and the similar thing i have just mentioned uh, and this is that uh, formula so i think uh, uh, this is uh, plot output so this is uh, the mathematical term for a coupe the full form of this coupe is crystal orbital overlay population and this uh, cohp so by, by a single run you can get this coupe as well as cohp the crystal orbital Hamiltonian population and this COHP, this um, crystal orbital Hamiltonian population actually uh, gave good uh, uh, more quantitative analysis of that uh, the characteristics of bonds. So the chemistry people should uh, follow this if uh, you are uh, working on this uh, material modeling. So this is uh, DAS with uh, uh, some plots. So so you will get uh, this coop out in output file in coop and QHP in the same directory and you can plot the same and the difference uh, here this is the plot of coop coop and QHP and uh, you are getting this the upper part upper part is known as the bonding and the lower part is anti bonding so i'm not going to uh, this is uh, not going to the details of interpretation of this uh, plot if you want to know the details for the interpretation you can uh, refer uh, some of my papers in which I have used this uh, coop for the bond analysis, especially uh, where uh, the, when I studied the bond strength of polymers, then I used to get the characteristic of this. So if you want to know the details of this, then you can refer uh, this book too. So in the sister uh, manual, uh, this uh, coop utility is mentioned here with uh, this uh, website and uh, you can uh, also follow the terms now now let me start that uh, how to work with this so this is my sister directory and uh, this uh, uh, utility this util directory coop is available here so just by using make command you can get uh, uh, that binary file so this is that uh, binary file mp rob which I have to, I am going to use this NPROP. And uh, uh, so let me start uh, uh, some example for this. So I have, uh, so compilation is not a problem, just you can use make a command in that directory and you can get that binary file and you can copy that uh, binary file in your bin directory and directly you can use. So this is uh, that for demonstration, I am, I have this, uh, uh, 
uh, SI file and I have taken this from uh, sister test file even uh, even that in uh, sister test file you can get uh, uh, good information uh, for the uh, input input of that uh, coop so in the test file you will have a si coop let me check so this is uh, from where I have taken this is that input file so uh, this is that input file we have one term that coop write t is written with uh, uh, others uh, other similar uh, that default terms so i'm using uh, this input file and uh, getting the result so this is my demonstration directory and uh, for coop so in the next lecture i will also include that fade band how one can give but in this lecture i'm just uh, you including that coop as well as that pdos so here where that uh, input file this is fdf input file i'm using the same input file when i run uh, this run this input file uh, i will get two files one is related to hs x this is related to hamiltonian and the second one is this uh, uh, CI, uh, that fs sx this is related to wave function then i will copy this two in uh, uh, this scoop directory so first of all let me delete all this so move to trust and uh, for this uh, the file i am software running sister i am getting these two files so let me copy these two file this one is this one so copy and first uh, in the paste and this is now coop so that uh, this is the system name used here this is for the coop and now i'm going to get the information related to 3s 3s interaction that si 3s si 3s and uh, 3p 3p interaction and then 3d and 3d interaction and so on so these are that uh, the bond length in between one to uh, three and you can get that bond length range in in this uh, final uh, uh, final bonds file from here you can get that bond range and uh, the simple command you have to use uh, that is uh, maproc i have uh, compiled this maproc in that util directory and uh, um, shipped it to my bean directory so i can use that uh, uh, directly from here so this you have to use this is mirroring the broadening of that curve generally i use 0 0.2 but you can use 0 0.1 also by default this is 0 0.5 so it's much more so just 0 0.2 and then the total number of pints starting from 500 to 2000 i can use and then that lower energy value minus 20 uh, to maximum value 20.0 electron volt and then this input file is this is that input file name so you don't have to use that c double o dot mpr just you have to mention co if everything is okay then it will Run. If there is some problem, there will be some problem. Okay. So first of all, here the problem is SI coop. This file is missing. So what we have to do here, this is that file, but uh, the file name is different. So just you have to rename this. So rename this file as the uh, uh, this one. Okay. So now the file is available, and uh, let me rerun this by rerunning. This is uh, the output and we have a set of uh, data files. So this is related to coop and this is related to OHP and depending on your interest, you can get, uh, you can plot the thing. So by using this XM grace, uh, you can get, uh, you can import data. So uh, these are, so just, uh, Coop. this is related to 3d 3d and then that uh, this is uh, uh, 3s uh, 3s 3s and uh, okay there is some 3p 3p also okay this is 3p 3p okay so this is fine so this part is uh, anti bonding and the upper part is uh, bonding so you can interpret this and uh, decorate this uh, a particular graph and for pdos what you have to do this is that pdos term 
and here this is that input file here you have to mention DOS and then that PDOS these are the orbitals for which you want to get that PDOS value so now again I have to use that MPROP and uh, same smearing S0.2 and then uh, N2000 minus M minus 20 to 0 capital M 20 to 0 and then PDOS because of um, uh, yeah, MPR name is this SIP does so you have to write uh, SI underscore PDOS again there is some problem the same problem is here and uh, there is no file uh, related to this scoop and uh, HX so first of all you have to paste here this file so this is very silly mistake by done by me so this is that output file so different PDOS file you will have directly you can plot this so and one another example uh, that is uh, this is for CO uh, and again I ran the same uh, type of uh, that uh, input file here with uh, another name that is COO. There are the single species is there. Here you have two species, one cobalt, second is oxygen. So two files are generated generated for Hamiltonian and uh, work function and uh, sorry that is the wave function. So I have copied these uh, two files in this uh, coop directory. Oh, sorry. So this is for the coop. So let me copy this, these two files. So this is now paste into folder, paste into folder. And uh, again, I have to rename this. Otherwise, uh, I will get the same error. So let's rename this. And this is the input file. This input file is very big because uh, two species are there, so we can uh, uh, find that interaction between that O CO two O individually atomic interaction, and then this uh, orbital interaction four H two S, and then the four H two P, and then two uh, P. So different interactions are there. So uh, on the basis of your interest, you can get. Uh, so now mprop same uh, smearing i am using here that is n 2000 minus m minus 20.0 and then capital m 20.0 and then people, oh what is the name of that yes so if everything is good this will run so yes the third one like some grace so one coop we can uh, this one this is the interaction between uh, bond between this uh, cobalt and oxygen so atomic uh, relation so you can get uh, this early result so this is the you have to draw one line here this is the bonding one and this is the ending bonding one and for uh, PDOS for the PDOS and again I have to rename this so, so it's very easy uh, to get PDOS and uh, in the earlier methods that PDOS XML SL receptor uh, you use the uh, uh, orbital by orbital uh, method to get that PDOS so here these are PDOS and uh, these are COO and then orbital M's that 3D 4S 4P and other things so just uh, let me run the same so let's increase Oh, sorry, not XM guys. MP ROMP minus this 0 0.2, 0 0.2 minus N, that is 20, uh, 2000 minus M, that is minus 20.0, capital M 20.0, and then PDOS. So this is the term now x m rays you can plot two different orbitals even uh, i have uh, taken this uh, particular system co because uh, uh, 
this is a uh, spin polarized system so for up spin and down spin you can get uh, that uh, plot so let me check uh, for cobalt the co uh, that up spin and down spin here so for the data set i am using that block set so this is one and two this is for the up spin and then for the down spin one and three this is for the down spin and uh, for then for oxygen also uh, just uh, i'm using the same so this is uh, for the up spin and uh, this is uh, for the down spin so we have four lines two for up spin and two for down spin so uh, you can just uh, decorate this by flipping down spin uh, from this is uh, minus 20 to 20 first uh, let me change the range of this and then uh, flip two data related to down spin so data of that transformation so let expression so alternating this second data this is related to down spin and this is related to down spin so y is equal to minus y so this is a simple method to get this data related to so these are related to up spin this is related to down spin but this has not been shifted uh, that fermi energy level is not has been uh, shifted to zero so one can also shift that fermi energy level uh, to zero so for that uh, you should know about that uh, fermi energy value and uh, that will be available as uh, you know uh, that is in eig file or band file so where is that uh, eig file so this one and this fermi energy level is 5.142 so let me change uh, let me shift this uh, fermi energy level to zero so for all this x is equal to x plus a point one four i think so let me okay so just apply and you will get this beautiful picture and uh, you can have just change the range along x axis that is uh, 10 to 20. Is that beautiful picture? So now the decoration work is on your coat. You have to decorate this plot and uh, make this suitable for the publication. So I think uh, this will be helpful uh, to all user and. Uh, in case of any doubt you can just mail me and uh, uh, thank you all